Uh, hey, nerds. So, this is a question I constantly... Wait, who are you? Oh, you're Paula. Okay, I was just about to say. I don't remember getting a green-haired... That, that just tells you how much I really care about Paula. Anyways, um... People keep asking me this one question. I've gotten it so many times from tier lists to other things. And, you know, as much as I was trying to avoid it because I don't want to be mean or, you know, tell anybody, nah, you probably shouldn't do this, I will tell you the simple facts for certain characters. And that is, the one question I constantly get asked is, hey, Sages, who is the worst unit in the game? Or who are the worst unit? Who is? What? What is that? Um, and I guess I'll just explain this to you as simply as I can, and tell you which characters you probably want to avoid putting any effort into to make them great. Now that's not saying that you can't do that, okay? I'm just saying that chances are, well, actually, big chances are, if you use a different character from these, uh, well, you'll probably do better. Um, because, well, there's a lot of issues there, and we should probably talk about them at least a little bit, shall we? Alright, so... First up on my utterly terrible list would actually be good old Henry here, so... Ready to trade that white cape for a black one like mine? I don't remember his voice being that, that squealy, but you know what? <laughs> it's been a while. I liked Henry when he was in Awakening, actually. I mean, I didn't mind him at all. He was pretty good dark mage from what I remember, at least. He was actually pretty decent at what he did. Um, but unfortunately, it seems in the transition over to, you know, heroes... Henry is probably one of the worst units in the game right now, especially when it comes to red. In fact, on our on our tier list, I'm pretty sure we put him in the lowest tier possible, because simply put, Henry just does not have a good stat spread, and it doesn't help that he has probably, uh, I think he has one of the lowest attacks in the entire game, which does not, you know, help him. Um, on the off, uh, you know, to off put this in a bit, I guess you could probably say, hey, at least he has a lot of health and a lot of defense, which is something that he actually gets a lot of towards the end. Um, that's kind of why he has Glowing Ember here. And, and that just... It, it's hard to put it into words, but... Henry is probably one of the units he will want to avoid. He's only really good for probably Ignis and Rao Raven, which, honestly, I'm, I'm not really sure you would really want to deal with. And maybe Green Tone Breaker if you want it. Not in the least, buddy. Um, so, you know, as a character, hes I still love him. You know, puns and murder are always something that go really well together, but unfortunately, as a character in Heroes, he just is one of the worst. He is actually one of... I mean, I understand a lot of people like Raven Tomes, but chances are, if you are using Raven Tomes to get rid of Colorless, you probably already have uh, Robin as your blue unit who can tank more, do more damage, and typically outdoes him quite substantially. I'm not saying don't use him, but probably avoid him. And I'm leaving. That was just weird. All right. <laughs> so the next one that I have to talk about comes from probably stat spread because of how unfortunate this is. It's also something that kind of constitutes a lot of things. So next unit is Jaegen. So Jaegen has terrible attack. Terrible defense, terrible speed, and, well, I guess a good amount of resistance. That's pretty much all Jaegen really has going for him. See, the problem is that he has very low, at least from what I recall, he has somewhat low BST. That's mostly because he's a cavalry unit, but also add into the fact that he's also a veteran, which is a strange thing. I don't, from my understanding, the only two units that actually have the whole veteran tag to them is actually Jaegen here, and also Gunter. Um, that means that their stats are relatively low, and um, the unfortunate part is that his stats are spread in such a weird manner that the only really good thing that he has is resistance, which, uh, I mean, I guess? That uh, means that he will at least have a bit against mages, but the problem there is that even then, I'm pretty sure if you manage to get a speedy mage, which most mages will probably outdo him there, um, he will die pretty quickly, even then. Good things, though, that come out of it, of course, is that he has Fury, and I believe he also has Fortified Cavalry, which are also very good skills um, to give any character, really, as long as, you know, they're a cavalry unit, or, you know, 
if you want a good Fury build. I mean, I don't know who rolled on that Fury build and got a Jaeg and was happy about it, but um, you could give Fury to someone else if you need to. Um, he's he's pretty much, <laughs> uh, you know, he's used mostly to transfer any of those cavalry skills over to better horse units because if anyone's rolling Jaeg and you're doing it on a budget, um, you're trying to build a horse team on a budget and you would do much better with Camus. Or, oh God, any of the other uh, horse units that I can think of, at least. I'm trying to remember which ones, if there were any others. Uh, I don't remember if Abel was. Yeah, Abel is, technically, I guess. So he would probably do better as well. Um, even solely. But still, it's just, it's an unfortunate thing when it comes down to a character like Yagen. Because he, you know, I mean, I feel... <laughs> A lot of these characters that end up here are kind of just because they got a really raw end of the deal when it came to actually creating these characters um, when they transitioned over. Like, Henry shouldn't be in the position that he is in, at least from what I remember. I don't remember my Henry in Awakening being terrible. I also don't remember hearing anything about Jaegen being terrible, but then again, um, I don't believe, you know, I, I don't believe I played Mystery of the Emblem, so, uh, unfortunate, but... Oh, well, that's just how it goes. Um, now, the next unit we're going to be talking about that's probably one of the worst has a kind of similar set build to uh, Henry. And that, of course, is our good old buddy Odin, who unfortunately would probably do better if he was Owain. Where is Owain? <laughs> Seriously, I would like to see his normal form in the game. I don't know, eventually, um, because... Ah, <sighs> poor Odin. He just, he, he lacks the attack, which is unfortunate for him in a lot of ways, and just, ah, God, I just, <laughs> trying to put this into words is unfortunate. He also has the same, in fact, actually, I think he has worse attack than Henry, if I recall correctly, but he does have the speed, which is nice, um, <clears throat> but outside of that, his stat spreads then go to defense and resistance, which, as a mage, you know, it's, it's not too bad to have that, he's a bit more tanky. But, uh, he's not going to be pulling in the same numbers as a lot of other Blue Tome users, especially if you have Lind, May, oh, uh, god, there, there's just so many others, I can, oh, god, let me just po po <laughs> poke around real quick and see if I can actually remember all my Blue Tome users. If I even have any more, I actually, oh, god, and, I mean, Reinhard, especially, of course, Ursula, any of those other ones, if you have a horse team, he's going to be destroyed, that's obvious, but, um... As a character, he's he's just he has the same same um, BST as Henry, actually, if I recall correctly, which is nothing terrible. But as a mage unit, he's just ah, uh, he's he's unfortunate. He has health, he has speed, and you know defense and resistance, but he does not have the punch to you know pack it up. And while he does have the blade tome, which is a valuable item to any real mage, honestly. I mean, if you give a blade tome to any other blue mage who can use it effectively with a buffing unit, they will do substantially better than him. And that's unfortunate because Blade Tome f on him should be nice, it should be good, it should be something you'd be interested in being a part of, but uh, outside of that, he does have a few other good things. He does have Moonbow for those who really enjoy it, and I think he, yeah, Red Tome Breaker, which are good abilities, but outside of that, it's just basically, it's most likely you're going to be scrapping him and getting a different blue Blue user, hey, wow, blue tome unit. Uh, you would probably want to, you know, give his blue tome Blair Blade or whatever to either, I'd say May or, you know, Lind. I don't really see Reinhardt as being too much of a problem there. Um, someone also asked, <laughs> when it comes down to Grand Hero, ba th those are the three worst units in the game right now, the three. Um, outside of that, there's no real spectrum to really give you the best idea for what would be after that. If I were to go with certain other units, I would probably go with, and I hate to say this, but, uh... Well, I really like Riss as a character. He's probably not the best, char you know, healer you can get. He's pretty frail and not the most amazing. Um, as for things like, you know, since we're going into colorless, we've already kind of touched onto that. Um, Matthew's not exactly the best throwing weapon expert. Uh, I don't remember Jacob being that great either. Niles and... I think Niles and Gordon are kind of mixed and match. I don't think Niles and Gordon are terrible by any chance, but they're not the best either. If you really want to go with an archer, I highly suggest going with Klein, um, Setsuna, 
Bridal Cordelia if you have them, or good lord, uh, Gaius, you know, that one. Um, there's a lot of better options out there. Klein, George, these are all great archers that you can bring along that would do substantially better than Niles and Gordon, just as a heads up. But as someone also asked, as a general question, who is the worst um, Grand Hero battle unit? Like, who would be the worst if you were to give him, give them a actual rating? And that would probably be Narcian. Narcian just does not fill the void that a lot of the other units do. His BST is not that strong. He also has weird stat gains from my understanding, if I recall correctly. But let me just pull him up real quick, because I believe he actually has some of the weirder ones. You know, um, his attack's not terrible, his speed's not bad, but everything else is kind of just mixed and matched. He's not bad by any means. He's just kind of even and nothing too crazy. The only problem, of course, since he is a Grand Hero Battle unit. Typically when you come in and you want these kind of units, when you have other characters like Legion, who are now available as a character, um, the reason why you want to prioritize perhaps Legion over that is mostly because, well, uh, his stats never change. He's always gonna be like that. There's no IVs, there's no boons, there's no banes. There's nothing that you can really, uh, you know, push in there to, you know, hopefully get a better Narcian out of it. No, he's stuck the same way he is. So when it comes down to Grand Hero Battles, you know, units, um, you typically go with the ones that just have better stat gains and better BST because, well, otherwise, things just aren't the greatest. <laughs> Granted, he actually has a pretty decent BST. Nothing too terrible. And then, of course, we also have Robin, normal Robin, but, I mean, who needs that Robin when you have, you know, uh, plot-based Robin right now available? I I'm just saying. Who wants normal Robin female when you can get that Robin female? But, uh, you know, that that's pretty much all I gotta say, guys. That's why I, I pretty much said to avoid the Fury thing, because Yegan's in there. If you're gonna roll for anything and you really, really want something, I mean, I guess Eldigan and um, whatever his name is, Bartre, I guess, you know, Porn Stash Man, um, you could probably go with that. Just saying, but. Yegan is uh, one of the worst options. I do apologize, my voice is starting to go. I think I've been talking too much. Um, but Yegan, not the best. One day though, Elm, I will get you, buddy. You will be mine. Mine! If I weren't broke. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much all I gotta say for worst units. If you were to really put them into any sort of category, those are probably the ones you want to avoid. Yegan, Odin, and Henry. Don't bother putting points into them. I'm sure, well, I, I can't say that someone's gonna be like, how dare you, this is mine, but, you know, I, I, I hate to say it, just avoid those characters. So, yep, that's about it. Bye, guys.